Yo! Video games. This is I'm sorry, Alien vs. Predator, the actual arcade game running on actual arcade hardware. We have a uh, unique modified uh, CPS2 board, which is, runs AVP. So this is the game running with a HDMI digital out. Looks good. I don't think it, I think it doesn't have an attract mode sound because it's turned off. We'll hope. We'll hope the, the sound just kicks in. Uh, let me fix this. Scaling and copying. Top only. Predator just DDTs an alien. Um, so chat, for those that didn't know, this is the one of the greatest games ever made. For those who are curious, we're just going to straight up play one of the best alien games, which is also a Predator game, technically. Um, ever made. It's also never been released. The only ah, there's that weird arcade stick. Yes, the, the only time that this game ever got actually released is on a really funky Capcom, which I want to get. I want to own that. I bet you do. I want to own that stick. See that um, guy in Saudi Arabia has one? He did. Yeah, because it's a console. It technically yeah. counts as a console. Yeah. It's one of his, like, 444 consoles. Okay. Um, Capcom released a massive self-contained arcade stick that is literally the Capcom logo yeah. that has two-player arcade sticks on it. On this thing, there's an HDMI out. Yeah. And it, and, it, and on the board itself, it, it literally has arcade emulation for, like, Street Fighter Two and a bunch of old arcade games. So you can play Capcom arcade games on it. And it's like, oh, that's kind of sick. I just plug it into your TV. On this machine, this is the only thing in the world that had Alien vs. Predator, this game, functioning and playable on this weird stick. The caveat, this stick was only released in Europe. It was never, it was not released in, in Japan. It was released nowhere else. So I you could really, only get it, it's a plug and play, only get in the UK or some shit. I just realized Dutch Schaefer Sprite just mirrors. It doesn't actually... Oh, they don't flip. No, no, they didn't have the tech for Flip yet. Oh. Flip tech didn't show up until Gil in, in uh, CPS3. Really? Yeah. Until way later. Yeah. They kind of put themselves in the corner with Gil. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, when you when you play uh, against Gil in Third Strike or, or even Street Fighter 3 Part 1, the blue side is always on one side. The red side is always on one side. On which one? Uh, Gil, specifically. His, his blue and yeah, red yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. They, they do not just mirror. He actually has unique yeah, 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 versions yeah. for each one, and that's because that was a... A CPS3 upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, the data. Okay. So why was the game not released? Just because, like, it fucking never made its way to anything uh, until, like, 2018, 2019 or some shit with the big Capcom arcade stick, and it was only ever released, presumably because the rights to this game are all over the place. It's like, so who actually owns this? Like, who... Now it would be literally between, like, probably Marvel and... May, I don't actually have no idea. I have no idea. It's, it's Disney, but there's some subdivision of Disney that has Alien and Predator rights. Alien and Predator rights. I'm looking around. Hold on a second. Somebody did figure out the rights because I don't have any of them over here. They released toys of this. Right, right, yeah. They released literally like the, the NECA guys made figures of Lynn Kurosawa, of Dutch Schaefer, yeah. or Schaefer, and the Predators and all the aliens and every character in this. And there's an entire figure series. So somebody figured out um, the toy distribution rights. Yeah. But anything Sub else, I have no clue. Subdivision of Disney? Why, yes, FML, Rick. I don't know. You're probably unaware. I don't think this is plugged in. I like, I like handing plugged you, into the PS. I like handing you uh, unplugged un sticks. Unplugged sticks. That's a normal thing. I don't know if you're aware of this, but like... Uh, Bob Iger does not actually make like decisions for Marvel or Star Wars. Like... Separate people run different parts of the company. Now, sure, they have veto rights or whatever over it, but, like, there's a subdivision of FX or Hulu or Fox or whatever. They will they will be literally in charge of dealing with anything regarding Alien or Predator. Time to hunt. I'll turn that down, Chad. Hold on. Yeah, the... Time to hunt. The opening cue sound was uh, turned off. Time right. to hunt! Uh, I'll press start. You press start too. Hey, we're in!
I don't think we've ever actually played this on this arcade board before. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, official arcade version. Select your character. Select your fighting style. Jagan Lin. I I take Blue Predator usually. Okay. I take Blue Pred. Lieutenant Lin Kurosawa. So sick. Major Dutch Chief. Figure out the buttons. So that's special. Where's jump? Okay. Three. Oh, oh. Predator oh. Berg. Jesus. There's so much wild shit you can do this. You got super, did you get it? Shoot like crazy. Oh, Give me some moves, chat. I think you might have got it, I don't know. No, no, no you, you have the timer. You can, just, you can just use your gun forever. You can't use it forever. Uh, burgers. F this sign. Predators just talking this. They're just big chilling. It's a trap. Ow! Let's go. Ow! So, hyper depressing thing we learned not too long ago. Lim Kurosawa was supposed to be mocking in CBS, CBS 2. Two. Yep. They, she was originally going to be in CBS 2. And then they, uh, so they just couldn't figure out the rights or something like that. I can't remember why they didn't use her. So they used another character that had similar moveset, and it was Maki. They decided to give the role to Maki. Damn, air combos. Who owns Kurosawa? Uh, Disney. Lynn Kurosawa? Yeah. No, Capcom does. Does she? That's no, definitely really? a Capcom thing. It depends on how the thing was written out when they made it. Yeah. Like, do all original characters go to rights hold to Fox? Or that usually is how it works. Or is it split because Capcom made it they get to keep the character? I don't know about Dutch or Schaefer, yeah. whatever the hell, whatever the hell they, his names end up being. But I'm pretty sure Lynn has remained a Capcom character. Down and jump predators for a slide. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Attack and jump together is a special. If you do like jump and attack, you get weird, like you have a mega big time launcher combo, an air combo. I got it. Also, weird fun, fun mode. Fun, 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 weird fact about this game it was in development for the Sega 32X. Really? Yep. It got canceled because the system died immediately. Uh, another fun fact about this game, which is probably one of my favorite fun facts to tell people about, this game was a movie tie-in. There was literally an Alien vs. Predator movie being made, which is why this exists. Um, the movie was canceled. It, it, so a lot of the events, not the direct characters, but the events that happened in this game were tied directly to a, a big movie property that was going to happen, an ABP movie in the early 90s. That movie's director and writer was James Cameron. Instead, the project was scrapped because he went to work on another film. And that movie's called Titanic. It's bored. So who truly went out in the end? Pretty much Jim. Yes, <laughs> Jim. He made the right call. It was written and directed by James Cameron. So it was going to be on Earth. There might have been a place called Sandrad, California, like a futuristic San Francisco. Like, the, we would not have that Lin Kurosawa and, you know, the Capcom characters, but the events of the game were tying to a movie. I didn't even like Titanic. <laughs> Here's the thing, James Cameron was another director that was also heavily influenced by anime. 
there's a lot of stuff in this in this game that is like yeah like there's like Japanese like uh, Japanese culture stuff but we're obviously like in a futuristic America dude he was trying to create Akira he was yeah. trying to make a city <laughs> that looked like Akira yeah. the, the, but the other issue was that they couldn't get approval for it uh, budget wise because it was going to be expensive as fuck they needed like a futuristic mega city you know where a lot of this stuff was going to be taking place so you know, I understand why it didn't happen. It would have been you a need big. You get that, that fucking med kit right now. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yum yum. He produced Alita. Yeah, he loves Alita. He was supposed to direct Alita. It might have been better if he did. Well, the problem was is that like they 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 literally cut this a third of the script out. Yeah. Because they said we're not going to we're not going to authorize budget. For this movie, uh, for this for, for this film, unless James Cameron directs it. Oh, there you go. Like the other day, I was like, <sighs> Predator with a pulse rifle. It's amazing. So, Chad, for anybody that doesn't know, this is largely uh, this game is largely understood to be one of the best beat 'em ups of all time. This game has combo videos. It came out in 1994 when you didn't get a lot of stuff you could really do in Beatmox. Ah, and this wow. game had so many mechanics and wild shit and cancels that you could do. It's crazy. You should you should see some of like the, the task stuff and the, uh, the speed Bro. runs and the combo videos that exist for this game. It's wild. Lynn has so many insane things that she can do. Off me. Fuck you. Bam, bitch. Backflip. So to many people, like, and it, mostly it's because th this game is, like, rare. Like, you can't really play it outside of emulation. It's kind of gotten this, like, I'd say notoriety to it of being, like, the greatest beat-em-up of all time. Well, ex fucking excuse me for not knowing Lin's combos and shit. <laughs> I've played this game with Max. Give us, give us, give us Lin shit. You guys gotta know, somebody in here has full fucking understanding of how this shit works. Imagine if this was like an event in a movie. Yeah, I, was, I start to think of stuff like that where it's yeah. like, the events of this start to be like, so was this going to happen in the film? Were they going to like uh, plow a fucking like tank through a city? I feel this might city? because of aliens, specifically like, because this is like an alien's ass APC. Well, I mean, no, it was going to be aliens as fuck. It was going to be in the, it was going to be on Earth. Yeah, in yeah, the yeah. Same, in the same like Wayland yutani universe as aliens. Because it was the James Cameron script. It was going to be like a sequel, but it didn't have Ripley or anything. Right. Nor, nor should it. Nor should it, yeah. Probably one of the reasons why it didn't get made is that they didn't have Sigourney, they didn't have, you know, Arnold. There was that weird hang-up back then where they are like, yeah, whoa, 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 We need a star. We, we need Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver has to be in an Aliens movie. I'm exactly. Like, I'm like, no, she doesn't? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that was the point back then. That, I think that was one of the reasons why it just didn't get made. Yeah, they were like, oh, well, we're, we're, we're not, we're not going to do an Alien movie without Sigourney Weaver involved. I mean, I love the character, but it's like, uh, you did her so dirty in 3 that, like, nah. And my slide sucks. Can I slide into combo? I can't slide cancel? Can I slide cancel into jump? Whoa, big jump. Holy crap. Uh, big jump. I can, whoa, I can jump lock up. Wow. Big jump? Wait, wait. Big, big jump. Strapping. Uh, so if you press jump and press up with it, you do a mega jump. You do like literally an MVC super jump. Yeah. And then you get even more shit you can do after that. Oh, pop it off head to head. And then if you do four jump into buttons, like four jump and then put pressing buttons, you might get something different, but she should get like tap combos. She gets like chun -Li toe tap combos. Yeah. Predator with a flamethrower. It's one of the sickest shit ever. Ow. 
the weapons sort of suck in this game. They look so cool. That's your, that's your generals. What is throw in this game? Uh, walk forward attack. Yeah. Like walk forward into an enemy or behind them. Yeah. I, I, I think I can do a slam down. Hold on a second. I don't really let you though. Yeah, you gotta get close. It's like pretty much walk up to enemy. It's the same as Final Fight. It's the Final Fight engine. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Clydesdale. Ah! After grab button two into button one for a ground slam, let's go. Ah, fuckers. Button two to button one, okay. I'm gonna grab this guy, watch out. Grab this guy. Oh no, he grabbed me! Oh fuck! Can I not grab these dudes? Maybe not. We grab these dudes. Ah, there's a face hunter on me! Jesus Christ! Okay, yeah, oh, uh, it's R1 into triangle after a grab. So, like, walk up to an enemy, R1 triangle. Ah, oh, shit. Don't touch me, bitch. Boom! You body slam aliens, bro. I don't know, she's, like, not grabbing them. It's weird. Just walk, walk up to him? Yeah, I'm saying. You're not grabbing them. Maybe Lynn can't. Lynn cannot grab, according to the chat. Okay. She has different, I think she has air stuff, like air grabs. She does have air grabs, I know that. Look fucking sick. Look at this bitch. Thanks. <laughs> what the? Oh, oh, I'm like, what did I just, what mobility did I just find? The story's very funny because the game actually goes on for longer than it should. There's a part of this game. Oh, that's my that's my uh, my subway sandwich. Well, I can stab, stab, stab into grab, grab, grab. Man, your gun actually recharges pretty fast. Oh, I can, I can, oh my god, I can change my mid-air trajectory into shit after a toe tap. Oh my god. That's sick. Oh, you fucking alien. Dude, that's that's right. I'm gonna take Hagar's pipe. It's a predator with Hagar's pipe. This, this game is fucking amazing. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, I lost it. You start pressing like R1 to triangle, like heavy punch to medium punch, into the air and shit, and you get some wild bullshit, dude. Oh, triple! Oh, I could bounce from one to the other! Yep. That's fucking amazing! Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Alright, I am I'm consistently reminded why this shit is amazing. Oh, I got the throw there. Yeah, uh. Full super, big super, big super, get him. I'm almost, I do, I, I have a I have, uh, Marvel 3 life here. Give me some meat. No, there's no meat. There's gems. Oh, there's a, there's a bento plate. Oh my god, but I'm in the, the middle of hell. I'm trying now! Oh. Motherfucker! Alright, I'm gonna pick, uh... Uh, I need money. Uh, I'm gonna pick Predator 2. 
Hunter Predator. Yeah, pick, pick up that uh, bento plate. What's this guy do? Beef steak. This might grab. This might grab. Ugh. You can take my, my spear? Yeah. So sick. Overheat. Ow! Off screen motherfucker. Really? Really? Then I kicked the head off that alien. Cutscene. So cool! So fucking cool! Ow! Huge wow. piece of shit though, quarter eating bitch. He's right on. God, the blood! Dead already, Jesus Christ, quarter eating bitch. Ah! Ah! Shoot it! <laughs> this game actually looks insane. 1994, chat. We had it, we, we, were, we were at the peak 30 years ago. <laughs> 30, 30 years ago. Fuck. Whoa. Fuck. Don't say that. 30 years That's ago. That's depressing. This game's 30 years old. I think it needed a 30th anniversary It should have gotten a 30th anniversary re-release. I am confident at the current tenure of Capcom to re-release this game in some way. I think they could do it. They should have done it with the beat-em-up collection in 2018. Yeah. It should have been in there, dude. There's, they could do a beat-em-up bundle, too. This is true. Yeah, they, they could. Actually, no, they put everyone in there. All their beat-em-ups are in there. All the way to, like, the CPS. There's all other... the way to, like, the CPS there 3. Are, there are other beat-em-ups in there. They haven't. They're all licensed, though. Oh, like Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Cadillac Dinosaurs. Oh, I have a DP! Oh, fuck me, that's right. How, how, how about can... a modern-day version of D&D? The two D&D games? Chat, how do I DP with Predator? How do I DP a Predator, chat? Uh, you, you take the front, I'll take the back. Down, up, button one. Let's go, dude. Press down, up, and a button. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. Uh, uh, uh. Shorty, you can. This bitch just kicked a predator. I'm picking up weapons and I can't pick up weapons. I want a smart gun. Give me a smart gun. Yeah. Coolest shit ever. You're a walking tank. I think the pulse rifle is iconic, but I think the, the smart gun is one of the sickest weapon designs I've ever seen in anything. Yeah. Literally like a mounted machine gun. With targeting reticle, like you're a, you're a walking tank. Triangle jump jump direction plus button two on a wall, really. Triangle jump direction plus button two. I probably can't do it because I have weapon. I think Lin can do that. If you try jumping to like a corner. But jumping to the corner and then back up, but do the other direction off, away from the corner. Bad. Show to you again. Shit. Wonder what down up does on the other predator. Oh god.
overheat. Or is the first time you uh, saw this game or played it? Someone's. What if it's the same place as me? Saw or played. Like, just knew of its existence. You can take it. I knew of its existence from my neighbor. It would probably either be... Honestly, it was probably either Camelot, maybe Bakersfield. Really? I wonder if anybody else saw this game for the first time at the Disneyland Arcade. I was waiting because my uh, my friends and family were going on Space Mountain. No, you're right. I definitely would have... Well, if, if they had it by then. Because I was there summer of 94. I definitely would have seen it there if it was there. Starcade. That's Starcade. First time I saw this game was at Starcade. I'm getting fucked up by this guy. Well, the Starcade was the first time I saw the fucking beat him up a hook. The arcade. Oh, game. Jesus. And I was like, what the fuck? They made an arcade. They made a beat him up a fucking hook? Palmer. Oh my god, I get slide cancel into DP. Let's go. Ow! Uh, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick uh, Schaefer. I'm beat bad. him up for hook? Yep. Irem. Irem made a hook beat him up game just for the arcades. Christ. Whoa, what the hell is this dude doing? Oh my god, I can shoot from the air. What the hell? Yeah, you can get... Oh, fuck. I overheated. I got it. Ah! I'm getting fucking destroyed. Oh! I'm literally birdie. My moveset is like birdies. Ah! <laughs> Hook, where you play a short Yeti in green spandex. <laughs> it was definitely a weird one. Rob Williams was a hairy man. Definitely a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Willow had an arcade game by Capcom. Wow, really? Yes. A Capcom game? Yes. Uppercut with weapon down, up, button one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I could shoot while in the air for an air cover. <laughs> That's so sick. I can kind of see why right. Schaefer's good because his, uh... Have a grab? Or do the predators the only ones that have grabs? Let's find out. Schaefer, gotta have a grab. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh! Dead. Eat shit! Yum, yum. Uh, eat this, and then grab this. You were knifing me. Oh, I have a drop kick. Oh, I can aim this shit, brother! Come here, you. Come here, you. Ugh, ugh. Ah, damn! Ugh! Alright. So much fun. Perfect. The game is so much fun. Backbreaker, after grab directional, button one pile driver. After grab button two, button one, those are my grabs. Okay, okay.